it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be things you didn't know about everyday objects since I did one of these videos about three months ago and you guys seemed to love it. So I thought I'd do another one. So be sure to give it a thumbs up. But before I get started with the video, I just want to thank Fit Coffee for sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what Fit Coffee is, it's basically like a 14 day detox coffee that helps you lose weight and boost your metabolism. And no, it's not one of those coffees that literally just makes you like poop a ton. It is actually made with all natural ingredients. The coffee is loaded with EGCG to help boost your metabolism so that um, you are losing weight because your metabolism is running quicker. It is loaded with a ton of antioxidants and it's already sweet so you don't have to add sugar and it gives you a great energy boost. So like if in the morning I just need an energy boost, I drink this coffee and I'm energetic. And they have worldwide shipping on this coffee so if you guys want to get it, you can get it at your local um, GNC store or I will leave it down in the description, the link, and it is www.fittea.com. So um, with all that being said, let's jump right on into the video. Woo! Alright, so the first object is aspirin and most people take aspirin to um, help like cure a headache or for like pain and there's also a couple other ways you can use aspirin, um, which is kind of weird. Um, the first way is you can crush it up and mix it with water and make a little like solution and then dump that into a plant and it's supposed to help your plant grow. So I don't know if that's like a really good use, but that seems pretty cool and I'm gonna try it out. I also read that another way if you take lemon juice and aspirin and you crush that up and make it like a little mixture then and you rub it on your sunburn that'll also like heal your sunburn and reduce swelling which kind of makes sense because aspirin does help sunburn so I don't know I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, the second thing is snack bags, like a bag of Doritos or something, and basically it makes a bowl if you roll it, so I'm gonna test that out right now. So apparently, you take it from the bottom, and you roll it up. Oh, that does work. I don't know if you can see, but it like pushes up all the Doritos and it makes it like a perfect little bowl. That's pretty cool. You just roll it and push it up from the bottom, and then look, it's a little bowl. That one's pretty cool. Alright, the third object is Lysol spray, and if you guys know what Lysol spray is, I'm sure everyone knows. But basically, um, back in the day, they used to use this as like a feminine hygiene. So basically as like deodorant, or I don't even want to know what else they would use it for, but seriously. And then after that it became more of like a cleaning spray, and they'd use it for counters and surfaces and stuff. But how weird is that? Lysol spray was like for like deodorant and for like girl hygiene. That's pretty weird and I never do that, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, so let's test this out, see if this is like a deodorant. <laughs> I mean, it's sticky, it's kind of weird. I mean, it kind of smells good. This is probably like really toxic for you, probably shouldn't do this. Okay, the fifth object is salt and, um, the salt's like right here in this little salt and pepper thing. But, um, basically, so ah! I just got salt all over me. But, um, basically salt has like, a lot more purposes than just like eating it. Um, but I didn't know that it had other purposes because who would have thought? So one of the things you probably didn't know about salt is if your hands smell like garlic or onions after like cutting them up, you can actually just take salt and rub them in your hands and it supposedly will like take away the smell. But, um, I'm not going to test this one out because I hate onions with a passion, but I'm totally going to have, um, my friend Quincy try it out because she always cuts up onions and see if it works. Also, if you guys try this out, come back to the video and let me know if this one works or not because I'm very curious to know. Okay, I also read that if you take salt on like a spilled wine on your carpet, but most of my viewers are young, so probably not wine, um, or like a dark stain and you just take salt and you like shake um, the salt over it and then you let it like soak. Um, supposedly it'll soak up the stain and then you just vacuum up the salt. I don't know, that's like really cool. I also am not going to try that one out because I'm not going to spill wine on my carpet because that would just be sad. And if it didn't work, I'd be like, crap. <laughs> well, at least I tried for the video. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, the next object that everyone probably, like, I don't know if everyone like, uses. I mean, you kind of use because you use your car. Okay, so it's car tires. And basically, car tires, you know how they have, like, those bumps and those ridges? So basically, the space between the ridges on the tire, if there's, like, no ridges, that means you need to get two new tires because it's like worn out. But if the bump's pretty big, then you're pretty good to go. Okay, this last one is bobby pins. And I'm sure a lot of people have been using bobby pins wrong their entire life because I totally have. I actually have one in right now. And I finally used it right for the right way. You know how bobby pins have a straight and then a wavy end? And normally people put the straight end like down on your hair and then the wavy end's like on top. It's supposed to be the wavy end bottom because the wavy end is holding your hair from like moving. That's why it's wavy. So it's like holding your hair in place. And I never knew that. I was always using it wrong. Comment down below if you guys use bobby pins wrong your entire life or your um, 
smart, unlike me, and you've been using them right the whole time. <laughs> okay, so the last thing you didn't know about one of the everyday objects is a popcorn bag, and I don't have a popcorn bag to show you, but basically I'm gonna explain it, and then I'm gonna show you something really cool what I do for popcorn, just because I thought I'd throw it in, because I literally use this hack every single day. But um, basically, um, you know how you have a popcorn bag and you can like open it and it like lets out the steam like the top of the bag? Um, basically, if you don't like open it, but you like hold the popcorn bag upside down and you shake it, all the kernels will come out so that when you put it in the bowl, you won't be eating the kernels and like hurt your tooth, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, since I don't have a bag to show you guys, I thought I would add my really cool thing that I always do. Um, someone showed me this, or I think I read it online, and it's literally the best thing in the world. I'm obsessed with popcorn, so I always just put kernels in a brown paper bag and then throw that in the microwave and like seal it and then you have a bag of popcorn really quick and it's so easy and then you just add a little butter and I think it tastes better than bagged popcorn so I thought that was really cool and I wanted to show you guys that and yeah um that's all I have for the everyday objects I hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below if you guys are new and um if you guys know any other objects um like everyday objects that we don't know like things we don't know about them comment them down below I'm kind of curious to see but I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye Oh, 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 oh,